Yes, you read the title right. Getting shredded for summer is going to ruin all your hard work, and it's the last thing you want to do. I'm sure many of you are confused because I'm sure a lot of you are looking forward to being lean in the summer, getting all the girls, having abs, despite no one actually caring. Now, before this video goes on, I need to make a couple disclaimers. When I talk about shredded, I'm talking about typical fitness influencer shredded, very defined, six or eight pack, under 10% body fat, where your face starts to look like Jack Skellington. Second, if you are very overweight or obese, this video is not for you. You need to lose weight for your health so you can continue on that path. But if you ever wanted to consider being shredded, stick around for this video. And then third, if you're someone who has put on substantial amounts of muscle mass and has been exercising for like five to 10 years with consistency, plus if you have like 20 or 30 pounds you put on or so, this video might not apply to you either. I'm talking to you, the youngin who started their fitness journey and they're still able to make strength gains weekly or bi-weekly. You finally put on a little bit of muscle, so now you feel like it's time to show it off. And this is one of the absolute worst ideas you can do this summer, sending you back to almost square one. Let's start with my first issue of becoming shredded for the summer. Progressing weekly or bi-weekly becomes very difficult. You can still add on one more rep or slap on five pounds every week or every other week right now. Do not cut. You're small-minded. You think because you can bench 135 now, you'll impress all the girls or the boys, and now you can start cutting. Your first mistake was thinking that girls care how much you can bench or if you have abs. Sadly, the ladies don't care. I'll tell you from my experience. How much you can bench, you are only impressing the gym bros, but that's why we go. Let's be real. So let's say you start a 12-week cut right now. This is what's going to happen. You're going to start your cut, and your lifts are going to be fine. Then you're going to notice something. You're going to get weaker and weaker, and you can't push as hard in the gym. Your lifts are going to start going down or even backwards. By the time you're lean and have the abs you wanted so bad, you stagnated on all your lifts and wasted about three months of progressively overloading your lifts and putting on muscle. But now you also want to maintain your physique for the summer. So you don't eat in a surplus, keeping your lifts exactly where they are, weak and sad. September rolls around, so you finally start to eat more again. So let's say from May to September, you wasted five months of training, spinning your wheels so you could look good for the four times you went to the beach with your shirt off or at the pool on the beach for no one to be impressed. You wasted almost a half a year of training for four moments on the beach or pool. How does that rationally make sense in your mind? You know you need to eat to put on size. That's the point of the bulk. But you want to lean down and not put on any muscle for five months out of the year for the couple times you don't have a shirt on? Doesn't seem like something's adding up. It seems like a waste of time to me. But I just can't recomp after. No, you can't. It only works if you're fluffy. That's the way the recomp works. You need calories from somewhere. And if you have no fat, you're not going to recomp. And don't even get started on main gaining. I think this topic is dead. So I don't want to waste a ton of time here. But don't waste a year training just to be aesthetic for a couple moments with your shirt off. And then guess what? I guarantee you don't have enough muscle mass to have the physique you are looking for. I know you're imagining yourself with the muscles you have now, but just more toned in your shredded state. Throw that image out the window because it's not how you will look. To put it bluntly, you will look small. You'll look good in the sunlight, but you will shrink because when you get rid of your healthy layer of fat that's helping you get stronger and nourishing your body, you will find out your muscles don't look as good as you think they do, and you will feel a lot smaller without that layer. You will shrink because you most likely won't be eating as many carbs, which is going to make your muscles look more flattened since you won't be storing as much water in your muscles. You will shrink in size as well. You won't be the same size you are now, just more lean. Imagine going from a medium t-shirt to a small t-shirt. That's what will happen. You might look bigger topless because your muscles are more visible, you're more defined. But the other 99% of the time you're wearing a shirt, you will be small because you are literally wearing small t-shirts. You will not look big throughout the day. Most people will probably ask you, do you even lift? You will be a dial. Those dreaded words for those who lift weights. You need substantial amounts of muscle mass to look good shredded. At least the image you have in your mind of the shredded influencer. And as doubtful, you have worked up to that point. I'm not trying to be mean. I just want to save you from wasting time getting shredded. Now, I'm not saying don't get to 12 to 15% body fat. I'm talking about 
the 10 and below, that's to a point where you're just going to ruin all your gains and feel terrible. For the average guy, if you're not even close to benching 225, squatting 315, deadlifting 405, and overhead pressing 135, just general recommendations, I personally don't think you have any business looking at a cut. My training stagnated for so long in 2018 because I didn't want to put on too much extra weight. And I was under 150 then. And none of these goals are ridiculous, guys. They are very achievable to almost any lifter taking this seriously. I was able to do all these weights when I was 165 pounds in early 2021, looking at back one of my first YouTube videos. Now, I'm not saying if you hit these numbers, you have a good physique. But there's a high chance if you don't have these numbers, you don't have a good physique. You probably have no business trying to get shredded, but you can't even do the basics. To add on this point, you cannot cut because putting on muscle is so painstakingly slow. I definitely recommend this video by Renaissance Periodization on how fast you can grow muscle. Your first one to three years of intelligently training are going to be your fastest gains. So why would you ever mess that up for yourself? Why would you waste close to half a year every year to not build muscle in your beginning stages? What you would accomplish in your first year or two years of training will now take you three to four years because you're wasting time being in a lean state when you first start out. And this especially doesn't make sense if you don't compete and if you don't post on social media. Even if you do post on social media, it's silly. We need more people posting their actual physiques and not highly curated photos because we're messing up the minds of our youth. Everyone thinks, oh, I gotta be shredded, I don't have a six pack, and they weigh 140, and they think they're fat. Tangent aside, take the long-term approach. Building muscle takes time and consistency and dedication. You're not going to lose weight and build muscle unless you're severely overweight or a little fluffy. Don't make your dream physique an even more distant goal by thinking you need to be shredded this summer or shredded even next summer. Have a longer horizon. If you didn't meet my strength standards, you do not have enough muscle to look good shredded. That's just my opinion. Yell at me in the comments. I don't care. Besides looking small, getting shredded isn't healthy for anyone. Girls don't care if you're super lean. And even if you did get a girl because you're shredded, your penis isn't going to work because your hormones are all messed up. And on top of that, your sex drive is going to be super low. It's a lose-lose. There are always some people that are outliers, but I bet it is not you. Type in on YouTube the truth about being shredded, and most people have a really bad time being shredded because your body is literally starving. Now, I am YouTube fat guys, but in the real world, I am not. I've had the most compliments on my physique from the average population at this point when I'm 200 pounds. You know why? Because my shoulders are sticking out. My arms look good when I'm literally just holding my laptop like this when I'm walking around with my motor bottle. People are like, dang, John, you've been working out? It's like, yeah, because I'm actually filling out t-shirts now. I'm actually looking big because that's how you are in your normal day environment. You usually have clothes on. You're not topless. No one's topless at work. To the average Joe with my fluffy pack, Normal, everyday people think I have the physique of a god, even though I have barely any ab definition right now, under good lighting, and I'm hovering around 18% body fat. Most people don't consume tons of fitness content. Most people can't tell you the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell. So when they see someone that is in shape and that has some muscles, they are impressed. Most of us live in super obese societies and they're worried about being super lean. It's silly. Don't think because all your favorite influences are shredded, you have to be. Watch more realistic natty channels like mine, like Jeffrey Verdi Schofield, Revival Fitness, Alpha Destiny, Jeff Nippard, Natural Hypertrophy. I would say our physiques are achievable for most people given the time and dedication, but you're not going to get the results you want by wasting about half a year every year cutting when you shouldn't be cutting. Save that for 5-10 years down the line. Trust the process, put on some muscle, at the bare minimum, hit the strength requirements I outlined in this video. Not saying, not saying you should go full powerlifting mode, but you should be able to do these for some reps. Then, if you really want to consider getting super lean or shredded, try it out and see how you feel. And I guarantee you'll feel terrible, because I did it once. But don't keep spinning your wheels every year if you're not at the point of having enough muscle to even fill out a solid lean physique. And when I say lean, I mean 12 to 15% body fat. Since bulking is probably the thing you should actually be doing, unless you're super obese or overweight, Check out this video here, and I look forward to talking to everyone in the comments. Peace.